Hi, I'm Andy Glass of Glass Impressions. Today we're going to build this eight drawer, one cupboard storage chest for my CNC stand. Stick around, hope you enjoy. I start out by cutting three quarter inch plywood to width of the table saw. These parts will make up the carcass and internal dividers. The yellow wheels on my fence are called board buddies. They help keep the stock tight against the fence. I use the cross cut fence on my table saw to cut the parts to rough length, then come back and make a more accurate cut. I trim one end flush and nice and square and use a stop block to make sure that the parts are identical in length. With all the parts cut we can now assemble. I use a little yellow wood glue and a few corner clamping jigs to align and keep the parts at a perfect 90 degree angle. I then pre-drill and use panhead screws to tighten up the joint. With the shell complete, I can insert the dividers with a little glue and pre-drill and drive the panhead screws. I use my jigsaw to rough cut a large section of one quarter inch hardboard for the back. I flip over the carcass and apply a bead of wood glue and then use my air stapler to secure it in place. I then come back with a flush trim bit and trim the rough panel to exact size. Now it is time to build the drawers. I am using pre-milled drawer stock with a milled 1 quarter inch groove for the bottom. I cut it to length at the miter saw and use glue and brad nails to temporarily hold it together. I then make a countersink at the drill press and drive 2-3 to three screws per joint. With the shell of the drawers complete, I can cut the bottoms out of one quarter inch hardboard. I will note I did remove the groove on the back so I can slide the bottom in place. I attach the bottom with two screws, no glue here as I can replace the bottom if it gets damaged in the future. I use Rockler's universal drawer slide jig to install the full extension drawer slides. This was my first time using the jig and it made this process much easier. No more cutting spacers to support the drawer slides. Now it is time to do the drawer fronts. Being this is a cabinet for the shop, no need to get fancy here. I cut a section of plywood that is the size of the front of the cabinet. I then cut the sections out of it. First the door, then each bank of drawers. Then I can cut each drawer from that section of wood. This technique will maintain grain continuity through the, all the drawer fronts. I use a stack of washers to space the bottom drawer up so it doesn't get caught on the ground or shelf. I then use four pin nails to temporarily hold the drawer front to the drawer. I then come back and countersink five screws to permanently hold it in place. I continue this method until all the drawer fronts are installed. With the drawer fronts done, I can now focus on the door. I use Rockler's concealed hinge drilling system to drill the cups for the concealed hinges. This system is designed to be used with a hand drill, but I found it extremely effective in the drill press. I use a scrap piece of wood to make sure the hinges are parallel with each other and pre-drilled and drilled the mounting screws. I then space the door on a stack of washers and attach it to the cabinet. With the cabinet nearly complete, it is time to attach the drawer and door hardware. I installed all 8 drawer handles and door pull in under 7 minutes. The more and more I look and use this cabinet, the more I fall in love with the hardware. I drove four screws into the cabinet to hold a shelf in place. No need for adjustable shelves here. With it all complete, I removed the hardware and put a coat of my shop stain and a couple coats of water-based poly. I slid the storage chest in place and it looks great. Now it's time to install the drawers.
I'm really happy the way this project turned out and I'm really glad I used full extension drawer slides. They allow me to utilize the back of the drawer and easily have access to my items when I need it. The only thing I wish I would have done differently is use a preconditioner before I stain the cabinet as I have some blotching going on on this left cabinet door. Let me know below if you guys have any questions or comments regarding this project. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.